opinion of Chasm went up and down and up again as I played it. At the start of the game I loved the smooth gameplay and gorgeous pixel art graphics. You play as a soldier sent to a village to help save the village from evil creatures that have erupted from the earth. You travel down through the cavernous underground tunnels to find all the kidnapped villagers and defeat the beasts below. The gameplay was great. It's been compared to the gameplay of Castlevania Symphony of the Night and that's a good comparison. It's a 2D action platformer where you acquire different weapons and abilities. The new abilities can help you access new areas and you level up and become stronger as you kill enemies. The backward slide to dodge move really reminds me of Symphony of the Night. And you can unlock abilities like double jump and slide to access new areas. The point where I felt a bit disappointed with the game was the point when I realised that saving the villagers and fighting through that one dungeon, granted it is a big dungeon, was the full game. When the game starts off in the castle and you're given your mission, it felt like there's this whole world of adventure out there. I wrongly assumed that this mission would be the first part of the game. The graphics outside the dungeon looked amazing, but in the dungeon it felt less impressive, and the first two main areas looked very similar. I wanted more of the beautiful outdoor environments, so it was a shame to be stuck underground. There were other areas in the dungeon that looked much better, like the underground jungle area. Chasm is a metroidvania, and the map is procedurally generated. Early on, I also found it disappointing as a metroidvania. The map felt uninspired and very straightforward. When I got a new ability and opened up a new area, it didn't lead to much. There's also a huge amount of backtracking. When I got a new ability, I had to pretty much go back through all the old areas to find the new areas that I had opened up. So my experience from 2-4 to four hours in were disappointing. It was only when I got the slide ability and started opening up more areas did I start to enjoy it. The gameplay was always good, but suddenly I was opening up proper new areas, and not just small rooms with random treasure chests. The game became much tougher and more interesting, and I started to enjoy it much more. The backtracking was still there, but the areas and enemies gave me a much better challenge, and shortcuts helped cut down the travel time. There were bosses in each area that were interesting. They weren't especially hard, although I did die a few times while I learned their moveset. They were nowhere near as memorable as some of the bosses in other 2D metroidvanias, like Symphony of the Night or Guacamole. There have been complaints about the procedurally generated nature of the game, and I actually agree with those complaints. The game doesn't have much replayability. I know I won't play it again. I think it would have made more sense to have one brilliant map and not try to have loads of random ones stitched together. It didn't make a huge difference to me when playing, but I do wonder if that period between 2 and 4 hours, when I wasn't enjoying the game as much, could have been better if the map had been better designed. It's not a big deal really because I ended up enjoying the game, but given there isn't much reason to replay the game, I'm not sure why they bothered making it procedurally generated. I want to point out two other things. I had a couple of crashes with the game and load times felt a bit too long. When you die you get sent back to the starting menu and then you have to reload to the last save point. It would have made more sense just to reload straight to the last save point. It felt like a needless waste of my time and since the game gets quite tough at times, it was frustrating to go back to the main menu every time I died. Overall, Chasm is a very good game. The pixel graphics look good for the most part, the gameplay is smooth and easy to get to grips with, and the challenge kept me coming back. Backtracking may annoy some people, load times were long, and some of the underground environments looked very samey. But overall, I enjoyed Chasm. Whenever I play a 2D Metroidvania, I can't help but compare it to Symphony of the Night. While I recommend Chasm, it's still not as good as Symphony of the Night. So if you're looking for a deep 2D action game, that's the best place to start. But Chasm is a good follow-up. So guys, have you played Chasm? And what did you think of it? Leave a comment below, and as always, thanks for watching.